The love for graffiti started for me when I was about 15, 16. Um, I saw people doing graffiti, I saw graffiti on the streets, the colours, the striking imagery really um, communicated to me and uh, I wanted to get involved, I wanted to be a part of that. For myself personally I get a lot of inspiration from everyday life. I want my art to be kind of accessible to just normal people, not necessarily just people that are involved in the graffiti community or in the street art community, so I always try add a little bit of something that's relatable to the average man. Graffiti is, and street art is a really, it's a, it's a bipolar beast. I mean, on the one side, you have complete creation of beautiful murals, public art, advertising, all these things that general public deem as like worthy and worthwhile. And then on the other side, you have complete vandalism, which is like traditional graffiti roots, where there's tags, throw-ups. So it's complete creation and destruction for corporate and for street art worlds to coexist. Um, there's a lot of growth that needs to happen in an individual and I think myself and a lot of artists included struggle with that kind of turnover, you know, do they stop doing graffiti maybe in the illegal sense and street art in the illegal sense and just concentrate on making money. So, you know, they're definitely like very contradictory worlds. One's about making money and the other one is about just freedom of expression.